the big fishing trip like fish. of Especially trout, right, Mason? Huh? Especially oh, trout, doing? right? Oh, yeah, it's terrible, those things. John, I think you're the worst. John would like to get the fish into his children without our heads. Oh, no, that's not No, a, you know, I don't even see you guys. He would, he would say something. Right here. Get him. This is quite a fancy uh, thing I got here. Well, hold it like that, John. Advice from Susie, expert fisher girl in neatness in baiting. I take them to the little Cheerios and stuff yeah. like that, right? Yes. No. They were eating the bait. Yeah. You see how far he threw that hook out in the water, Alexis? We got a nibble already, I think. When you see it go under the water, that means that the fish is going to get, 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 get the nibbling on it. So you keep watching that. If you see it go down, pull the, the, the rod this way towards you and then it hits the fish. I could have swore I saw it bounce this way. Sure. <laughs> it's deceptive. You never know what's going on. Now with the county, it's just counting. That's it. You've got to be very, very patient. That's good. Yeah. Change your pace. Even over the shore. Let's see how long it bounces up and down. Yeah. Let me, let me just turn this on. This, this one is adjustable. Okay. I really love children. What are they, Oh yeah, this is fishing lessons. Aren't you going to sell this tape? Oh, <laughs> I wasn't thinking about it. Take it more natural that way, Dad. Well, I got gotcha. you. Should be able to do a little bit better with this now. Got my left hand. See how I work with the left hand better? Look how good I can do with that. Okay, here, you want to do it, honey? Now hold it this way with your fingers that way. I don't know who it is. Now you're bringing it in. Go slow, maybe you catch a fish. Sometimes you'll chase it when it's going, when it's moving. This moved. is the first time Alexis has gone fishing. Is that so? Yeah. Where? Okay, bring it in the rest of the way. 
and then stop it just about two feet short of here so we don't get tangled up in the grass, all right? Okay. Then we'll throw it out there again. Be careful you don't get it in See, I can even see the bottom out here. That's so clear out there. Can you see that, Robin? Yeah, it's gorgeous. That's how we were catching the newts. Oh, that's a good catch. Great shot. Okay, nice okay, well, let me it out there. Yeah. Uh, you can't do that with this one, honey. It's a little too complicated for you. Now you will get it all tangled up, honey. I don't want you to throw anything away. Because it takes too long to untangle the line. I'll throw it out and you can hold it. When I was down south, they were talking about uh, bass fishing. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they go on a boat and they stay up about 20 feet out. And then they, there's a lot of weeds on the side, but they're, they're very heavy. And then oh, so they throw from the middle into the side. They throw it from the middle into the side, and then they pull up <coughs> the sides of the weeds. And these guys rush out, grab the bait. That's what we did when we were in, in Tennessee catfishing and going after the bass and bluegill down there. You'd yeah. sit in the middle and throw it to the side and pull it out. Or else look for a, a, you know, a sinkhole where it's deep and then you can get the bass down there. Yeah, right. But I never got to go because the rainbow is not supposed to be there. <laughs> and I, put, I especially stayed over extra. So that I oh, I know. Yeah, we were all looking forward to the fish stories with that. And the one place you went to the reservoir, right, then you needed a license for that. Remember it was so late in the afternoon? One, one, one uh, day license was 10 bucks mm. down there. The southern is really not how to get you. $10 for one day. I got the license for here with uh, Charlie down there. Yeah. Nine, nine seventy five. it's up to now. Oh, boy. It was 8 bucks. It used to be free. And every year it keeps getting more and more expensive. Yeah. Nine bucks, you know? Yeah. Well, I got a real surprise. I am going on a guided fishing. Oh, really, huh? Uh, with Charlie's son, whose name is also Charlie. Uh huh. And we are going out on the boat. And you should see the size of the trout that I've seen them take out of there the last time Eric and I went down there, which was 10 years ago. That ought to be good. Yeah. I got to be there at uh, 6.30 tomorrow morning, <laughs> which is fine with me. We go out, and then it takes about a half hour to get down there. We go out on a boat. Mm hmm. And uh, it keeps me out to one o'clock, which is like the yeah, you know, yeah. half a day fishing trip I do down on Long Island. Mm -hmm. But I got a pro. Yeah, that ought to be good. Way to go. Alexis, is, you have to be very patient to do fishing. Can I have your hat? Yes, you can have my hat, but you realize you just left the pole there all by itself? There, now you got my hat. Make it a little bit smaller. We, uh, we, could, we could do that in this. You saw Alexis walking in there yesterday a little bit. I can imagine, yeah. Working out in the concrete's been no fun, that's for sure. I've had a drill rig that's supposed to have started up work for the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Hasn't been able to get out for us. I'm not pushing it. <laughs> Working on another job, let those, those guys sweat out there. Because as soon as it moves over to our job, then we have to be out there all the time with it. Uh -huh. Hey, we got, we got, it's a three-year project. We'll let them start up in the fall. I don't mind. That would be great. Mm. Alexis, look at me. There you are. Are you a big fisher girl? Do you want to borrow my hat, Alexis? No, she's got that hat. <laughs> Let me see you smile. She looks like Jackie Coogan. Yeah. There you is. Let me get it for you. Put it on.